Yes and no. So I'm going to give conflicting, conflicting advice here and bear with me. I promise that hopefully I'll be able to wrap it all up in a way that it's not conflicting at the end. So if you are uh, short on cash, then uh, don't trademark your brand name straight off the mark. Okay, much better off instead to go through the process and to validate your products that they sell on Amazon, that you've done it right, yada, 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 by making sales, and then to go trademark after that, all right? That's the, if you're on a budget, do it that way. If you've got some cash behind you, then yes, defo trademark up front. And the reason for that is it's, it will protect your brand on Amazon. It will uh, give confidence to new suppliers that you approach when you show them your brand on Amazon and they can see that you've registered a mark for it. They will think of you highly for doing that. And it's really, really good, particularly when you want to do wholesale deals, to have that sort of thing where they consider you a, a pro. They'll like that. That's going to work in your favor. And then it also, of course, if you do then find that you have a runaway success on your hands, you can then protect that product from hijackers by getting yourself brand registered, which will protect your product and will mean that uh, you can kick folks off that you don't want selling your product. And I think as well, so that's all the hard reasons, but I think as well there's another good reason to do it, and it's a more soft reason. And there is, I think, a psychological commitment that happens when you go through the process of getting a trademark for your product that I think is, is good psychologically to have. There's a sense of going for it that you will have, that I'm, I'm in it, I'm going for it, I'm going to make it happen, this brand's going to be a success. There's a sense of that, which I think is also... Uh, not to be discounted that you'll have that running in your mind in the background, filtering through all your other, other actions and behaviors uh, through that. And I think that's not to be discounted as well. So that's my reasons. And I hope that uh, you can understand why I say yes and no. So next question should be, where the hell do you go to get that done? In America, you go to USPTO. Da, 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 USPTO, United States Patent and Trademark Office. It's going to cost you $850 to, to register your mark in the States. And uh, it's going to take you about eight or nine months to get that through. And in Australia, you want to go to IP, oops, IP Australia, and uh, IP Australia. And you can get your register your patent here in Oz, and that's going to cost you uh, three hundred and seventy dollars. Last time I looked, three hundred and seventy dollars to get your mark registered in Australia. Now, the good thing about getting it in Australia is it is faster, although they're very busy at the minute, and they're saying it's taking some time. But it still is going to be faster than America. And uh, your Australian patent so far at least, gets you brand registry in the USA as well. So, you know, that's pretty cool. So that's a good reason to get it done. So again, if you can afford it, awesome. If you can't, don't worry. Focus on getting your product successful. When you've got some cash, then get it done. Hope that helps. Good question, Tom. Lovely stuff. <laughs> Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay 
bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business. And the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon. And indeed, Anthony, who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.